anticipate for another word that you are that you are gonna find it very confusing. That is the word appreciate. Anticipate and appreciate. They are they are not the same. They are different. Different meanings and a little bit the same in pronunciation, right? Oh, no. So here we are looking at the first word, anticipate. When you use or okay, when to use the action verb anticipate, you can use action verb anticipate like this. You okay, a subject anticipate. We anticipate that. Anticipate that something is gonna happen. So work on. Uh, when you anticipate something, it means you imagine and you expect it to happen. So what does it mean anticipate? It means you imagine it's going to happen and you expect it to happen. That is anticipate. And the first way for you to use the word anticipate, that is that structure. After anticipate, you have that. And after that, you are going to have a sentence. And the second way for you to use the word anticipate, that is a subject, anticipate, anticipate, and then a noun after anticipate. You anticipate what? You anticipate something. Anticipate um, a program. When you say that I anticipate on a, a computer program, it means you want to study a, a computer program and uh, you want it uh, as soon as possible. You, you, you don't want to wait, okay, to to get that program here. Uh, we have two ways to use the word anticipate. The first way, you anticipate that, and after that, something is gonna happen. And the second way, you anticipate something. And here in my situation for the word anticipate first. Anticipate. Vietnamese for the word anticipate, you can think of the word anticipate like manga. I hope it's going to happen. I expect it to happen. That is anticipate. All right, here is my situation. Um, but I, okay, these days, I anticipate lots of, lots of things for myself. These days, I anticipate lots of things for myself. I want me, okay, I want me to be more successful. I want me to be okay. I want me to be more developed. So I anticipate lots of things for myself these days. It's not it's not that hard for you to make it happen. So when I anticipate lots of things, lots of things, I am gonna find myself very distracted. Okay, very distracting. I feel I am distracted. I am distracted by many things. I am distracted by the social media. I'll get fun. Uh, we have lots of fun online. We can join lots of forums. We can join. We can join lots of uh, get lots of uh, lots of blogs in order for us to to get to know different lifestyles or to get to know different people. And we can interact with lots of people. We can interact with lots of people. It is not like we are gonna make friends. It's just like we anticipate that we can learn something new online. You are busy studying at home. We are busy, okay, researching in the office. We don't want to go out much. And if you want to drink coffee, we will order some coffee, okay, to drink at the office. So just like you, uh, here, okay, we are in our room every day, every time, and uh, such a busy life outside, nobody to talk to. So what is, okay, the best way for people to interact with okay, one another. The best way for us to interact with each other is okay, we we connect okay, we connect each other on on social media, media platform. This is the only way for us to connect each other. This is the only way for us to link each other. When you connect people on the social media platform, you you will anticipate you will anticipate friendship. You will anticipate friendship, or you will anticipate partnership, or you will anticipate a random relationship. So that is what people usually anticipate when they go online. We usually anticipate something like okay, friendship, online friendship, we call it pen pal, right? A pen pal, like 
a person who we can write to, email to, message. We message the person or okay, getting such love messages and the person is going to send the love messages back to us. So that is what we anticipate from online online platforms. First, I anticipate friendship online because I don't have friends in real life. I have uh, I have customers and I cannot say, oh, my customers are my friends. We cannot say that. They are partners, they are customers. We treat them with respect and in a different way. So the only way for us to fight friends these days easily and we don't go out much is to go online, is go on the social media and fight friends online. So when we fight friends online, we anticipate online friendship or we anticipate we anticipate online partnership. Like you can find a business partner online, you chit chat with each other, you talk to each other, you communicate with each other about okay business and then boom, okay, you find a partner. Uh, some people are very lucky they can find a partner in an, in an easy way like this. And um, the third type of uh, the, the third type of thing that you can anticipate from online platform that is relationship. People will date online. People will find partners online. They anticipate love. They anticipate a relate a random relationship online. Random a random relationship online. So that is what people anticipate online. And in my situation, I use okay the structure anticipate with a noun in English. And uh, right here, I'm gonna give you my situation for anticipate that uh, and also appreciate. When you appreciate something, it means it means you feel you feel grateful. Uh, you feel grateful for that thing. You feel thankful for that thing, and uh, you value that thing. So that is that is uh, appreciate. But then it's what about appreciates uh, that method. Here, my situation for appreciate and also for the structure, anticipate that. I appreciate, I appreciate uh, lots of things from myself. If, uh, if I don't try hard enough, I don't have me like today. I am not knowledgeable enough. I am not, okay, I am not uh, smart enough or I am not experienced enough or I am not, I am not devoted enough. So if I want to be knowledgeable, if I want to be knowledgeable enough, okay, I need to study very hard. I need to get lots of knowledge online. And if I want to be smart or wise enough, I also need to train myself to deal with different people online. And if I want to be experienced enough, I need to have failures. I need to fail a lot in lots of tests, okay? In English, or I need to fail a lot in lots of, okay, in lots of customer cases. So if I want to be experienced enough, I want to be wise enough, I want to be knowledgeable enough, I need to work really hard. So I'd appreciate everything that I have in this life because I work hard to get them. And when I look back, I anticipate that one day I will be bigger, I will be okay higher, and I will be more experienced. I will have okay more knowledge, and I will be wise. So that is what I anticipate for myself. Knowledgeable. When you say you are knowledgeable, or you become knowledgeable, it means you have lots of knowledge. Knowledgeable. Lots of knowledge. I am knowledgeable. For example, you can say that you are knowledgeable. It means you have lots of knowledge. So knowledgeable here is an adjective. And how do you make sentences with adjective? You used to be with okay, this word. All right. And um, the second meaning of the word knowledgeable, that is... Vietnamese meaning, you see that in Vietnamese meaning we have of we have such a long meaning, but in English it is only one word, knowledgeable. You can say, for example, you look at the word anticipate in the book. You say, oh, this word is knowledgeable. 
It means if you study this word, you will have lots of situations to learn. When you say this word is knowledgeable, it means this word has lots of knowledge for you to learn. And you can learn lots of things from this word. That is how you use the word knowledgeable for things. And here we have, okay, something like highly, highly knowledgeable, highly knowledgeable, or badly knowledgeable. If you are highly knowledgeable, it means you can provide different kinds of knowledge, okay, to, to other people. And if you are badly knowledgeable, it means you have bad knowledge about something. Bad here, it means dark knowledge. Something in your mind that is very bad. You have, you have bad thoughts about something that is badly knowledgeable. Wise. If somebody say that you are wise, that means we have two words. Intelligent and very understanding. Con, uh, Vietnamese, the English, that is intelligent or smart. Help Vietnamese, okay, English, it means you are such an, an understanding person. You understand people very well. Experienced, we have like highly, highly experienced, okay, or poorly experienced. When you use the word poorly, it means you don't have experience, poorly experienced. And please remember this word is an ADJ in English. So whenever you want to make a sentence with an ADJ, please use to be, all right? Here, lots of, lots of things for you to make practice, to, to make situations. All right, let's look back at these words. And guys, I'm gonna give you like, three minutes and after three minutes you need to give me the situation for anticipate situation for appreciate two words first anticipate and appreciate i need you to give me a situation uh, and here the first person i want to listen to that is the next moment the last one that is v and uh, before you speak i give you three minutes and 30 seconds for you to map your id please try to map ideas and when you speak don't look at the book don't look at your note don't look at anything. Just look at the camera or speak naturally. All right. Here is my situation for these three word forms. Experience as an action verb, Vietnamese Chinese. Experience as a noun in English, Vietnamese. And when you use experience as a noun, it is uncountable noun. And when it is uncountable noun, you you want to say it's okay, it's much, it's a lot of, it's a little, not it's many, right? Or it's a few. So please be careful with experience as an uncountable noun in English. Here is my situation. In this life, I want to experience lots of things because I, if I want to understand people more, I need to have experience i need to have experience in dealing with people in dealing with people when i deal with people deal here is not like you you handle or you solve a problem deal here it just means you face people you meet people so we have two meanings for the word deal with when you deal with people it means okay you just you just face people you just face, you just face people. So that is deal with. I face lots of people. I try to face lots of people. Me, okay, in this in this zone, it, it is like English zone. In English zone, we don't have friends. And you can see that everybody these days loves to become a teacher or to become a doctor because okay, everybody can be a teacher, everybody can be a doctor, no matter what happens. And uh, here, okay, in this English genre, we, okay, we need to deal with, we need and have to deal with lots of people so that we will have experience in understanding the customer's needs. So how do we understand people? That is a simple question. How do you understand people? How do you understand the needs of the needs, the needs of people, the needs of people? 
is very it is very easy. If you want to understand something, you need to face it. You need to learn from it, and you need to experience it. So I experience lots of ways. I have to experience lots of ways in dealing with people. It's like when I meet this student, I will have a different way to talk to this student. When I meet that student, I will have another different way to get to know that student. So we have lots of ways, okay, to, to get to know or to find out the needs of other people. If we understand the needs of other people, we will be able to, to make our dreams come true. It's like, I understand what you want and I'm going to teach what you need. So people are going to say that you are highly experienced teacher. When you are a highly experienced teacher, you know a way to help your students understand the words and you know okay, how to make your students be able to practice these words into real life situations. And if you are a poorly, a poorly experienced teacher, you don't know how to talk to your students, you don't understand your students, you have no experience in and sharing everything with your students or sharing something with your customers. So when you are a poorly experienced person, you don't know how to deal with different things in your life. So in order to be in order to be experienced, we have to experience lots of things, lots of ways in this life. When we experience enough, we will have good experience about that thing in this life. So how do you use experience as a noun in English? People love to use okay, experience as a noun with the word have, okay? We have experience in something. We have experience about something. And experience as an action verb is very easy. You need to have a subject and a verb, okay, of experience like this, experience, like this and an object. This is, this is the case. All right, um, guys, please look back at three words, experience, 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 and try to come up with a situation for these three words. Guys, please make sure of your accurate pronunciation. I need an accurate, okay? Accurate pronunciation. That is correct pronunciation. Don't be lazy from searching the word on Google Dictionary or on Cambridge One. Find out the pronunciation before you speak up. All right, I'm gonna give you guys like another two minutes and 30 seconds for you to think of ideas. And after that, I'm gonna call your name. The first person you need to listen to that is uh, Pooh. All right, let's start two minutes and 30 seconds for you to prepare. You become a um, success person. And Hello. We have, uh, if you say su success, not success, success. Success is a noun in English. Vietnamese, Silicon Dong. And succeed is a verb in English. That is, thành công. Thành công trong lĩnh vực gì đấy? Succeed in. And we have successful. That is an ADJ. And how do you use success? It's like you want to, uh, uh, you can say that my success, okay, it, my success makes me happy. Okay, this is how you make uh, a sentence with a success. It's like people are very happy with your success. Your mother is very proud of your success. I succeed in, you can say that I succeed in English or I succeed in this, this degree or I succeed in that test, for example. So how do you succeed in subject? Succeed in, okay, in an object here. And the next one, that is the word successful. You can say that she is successful or she is a successful person. I want to become, okay, after become, we use an ADJ, that is, I want to become successful. 
power. After becoming used an ADJ, becomes an adjective, uh, an action verb in English. And um, the way for you to make the sentence with successful, that is, that is sentence subject um, to be, okay, and then successful like this. All right, so show me your situation again. And please be careful with the word forms, okay? There are three words forms. Success as a noun, succeed in as an action verb, and successful is an ADJ in English. So show me your situation again, then. Um, to, uh, to, to become a su successful person and live in a high life of society, we have to, we have to learn a lot from many ways. I, uh, I feel, I feel that, um, to be as a successful, um, uh, as anticipate, it is very uh, difficult. Uh, just like I went to, I went to school. Uh, to uh, to get a uh, high ranking in, then I have to. Uh, I have to try a lot in class, and at school to get. Uh, to get good score, scores from for me. Uh, at work, I I also have to try a lot. People uh people with high experience will have um, will have me uh, gain more knowledge. Um, uh, we have to deal with uh difficulties. Um. To gain experience, um, you say that you need you need to deal with difficulties to gain experience. Um, you should say, why do you want it again? Why do you want to gain experience? Why? Mm. Yeah. You need to understand your feelings. Follow your feelings. Follow what you want to say. Put it in English words. Okay, I can see that you are you are stuck in your ideas. And uh, the sentence that I find very confusing is you say that experience and the word anticipate. You use the word anticipate after the word experience. So I don't understand your sentence. Can you show me that sentence again? The sentence with the word anticipate. You say you anticipate what? Can you show me the sentence with the word anticipate? For example, I can say that I anticipate that one day I will become experienced because when I have experience, when I have experience, I can do so many things in my life without worries, whether I will fail or not. I anticipate that one day I will succeed in my um in in the way that I choose because I put hard work into it and i know that sometimes i i am very lazy and i've been i've been lazy for almost two years i haven't done much so right now i'm going to change and i anticipate that my change will help me to succeed in my in my job so can you show me uh, so tell you need to think of a situation but would anticipate again and I'm going to call your name to give me the situation for anticipate. And right now, we need to come to another student. And guys, please remember, we are delivering situations based on three words. Experienced, an adjective, experience, a noun, and experience, an action verb in English. Um, next person I want to hear, that is uh, V. Nhật V, show me your situation, please. Mm -hmm. I yes. Any yes. Idea now. I don't have any ideas. Very bad, V, because when you have a test in IELTS, the teachers do not allow that, right? The examiner, sorry, the examiner will not say no to you. You need to come up with the situation right away. 
because we cannot waste money. When you go have a test, you will waste five million the number. And how to have IL six? How to have IL IL six point five? How? How much worth? Any ideas? Stupid ideas? Ridiculous ideas? Good or bad ideas? It doesn't matter whether your ideas are stupid or good, or bad or good, or ridiculous or fun. It doesn't matter. What matter? What matters is the examiner wants to hear you speaking. So you need to come up with ideas right away. Don't ever say no when you have a test in our house. Okay. When we wait for your video, get fun. Please show me your situation for these three word forms. Um, so uh, <clears throat> basically, whenever we have an interview to uh, to apply for jobs, we always have to uh, the the company or the examiners always ask us to have a highly experienced. But uh, however, uh, when when the students who have just graduated in university, they couldn't have experience. Uh, so like it is kind of ridiculous for the uh, for the company to ask for the experience of from the young people. Yeah. So to get to get over it and guess get used to the uh, that ridiculous uh, request. Uh, well, young Young people right now nowadays, we all they all have the uh, projects that going to help them to uh, fill up fill up their profile so that the they can apply and their profile is gonna look kind of good. So for example, like me right now, I am also go out and working for my uh my family's company so yeah my mother told me that I have to do this to like get experience so when before I get to university so that I can uh, when I study I can like I can combine the uh, theory and the experience together so that I can get the lesson from it and yeah to that is one of the way my mom teach me how to be success in life. And while I am very uh, appreciate the way she teach me and uh, she give me jobs, she give me ability to do my, uh, to grow my, my, uh, passion, yeah so that I can uh, be a successful business woman in the future. That is all of my speech. All right, very good, B, okay. And uh, in your speech, there is only one sentence that you make it wrong in grammar. That is the word choice. You say that you want to be success, no? Success is a noun, we want to be successful. Because, okay, we have two ways, become successful or be successful. People always say that want to be, because, okay, after want, you cannot say that I want, I'm successful, or uh, she wants, is successful. We cannot use I'm, okay, after want. We need to use, we need to use to, okay, and after to, we can say that, we cannot say that, want to am or want to is, or want to are, we should say want to be, okay. I want to be successful, not I want to be success. Very good, B. And, uh, and here I'm going to combine experience, oh gosh, and uh, these three words together with the word experience. And when we are waiting for V, okay, I'm going to give you guys my situation to combine all these words together. Every words together. Just before that, if like, the sentence that you said that uh, you correct me which is the last sentence of the the below one the want to be successful no if i change it no like if i if i change it into want to be succeed in something 
like it is available, right? Oh no, because see it in is an action verb. Be if you use sorry, if you use an action verb, you just subject verb object because there is one rule in English. If we want to 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 make a sentence with an action verb, just use a verb. No, to be like I go to school, not I am go to school, right? And uh, to make the sentence with an ADJ, we used to be. That is the difference between sentences with verbs or sentences with ADJ. So sentences with verb, just use verb. Like I want to succeed in in the in my life. She wants to succeed in her job. He succeeds in his company very okay, very notoriously. So succeed in just use an action verb after a subject. No to be. When you use an action verb, you don't use to be. But when you oh, use you oh, I, I got verb. it. Like I use the another examples. Like I want to be sleep. It is nonsense. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, all right. And uh, one more thing I forget. Okay. One more thing, guys. Uh here we can see that IELTS is not that hard. It's not like what they advertise online. The best, uh, sorry, not the best, uh, what, the most complicated test in English, that is Cambridge C1 or Cambridge C2. Those are the most difficult tests for IELTS. If you get IELTS 9 and you don't want to advertise yourself online, nobody knows you got 9, right? And lots of high school students get IELTS 9, get IELTS 8.5. Lots of them get those IELTS, those high score, IELTS degrees. So don't don't be scared. Don't be tricked by advertisement online. They just want to make you feel like, yeah, you will never be able to get that. No, it's, it's not possible. It's, it's, uh, that, that, that is not impossible. It's, it's very possible. Just read every day, listen every day, speak every day, and we write by speaking every day. That That is how we train ourselves. That is how I train myself too. And here, I'm gonna buy everything. Before we uh, before V speaks R, uh, I need to combine all these words into one situation. And V, try to come up with the situation because you are very slow in idea mapping. Uh, and here, after I speak, I'm going to call V. And after V, I'm going to call Thu and Phong. Okay, so Thu and Phong, you need to come up with a situation for every word like this. So, uh. In the middle part right here, we have some action verbs. The first action verbs that you get used to, second used to, third you will. Customer needs. This word is an action verb. This is a noun in English. When you say you get used to, get used to, we have two ways to use. You get used to and verbing. And you get used to, okay, and a noun in English. Used to verbing. It has the same meaning. You làm quen với cái gì? Làm quen với việc làm gì đấy? It used to an an in English. Làm quen với cái gì đấy? All right. And here, let me show you the situation of mine for all these words. Yeah, you see that lots of words, but I have to give you my situation. And uh, you know that I never ever prepare a lesson before I be before I come to teach. I just like. Turn on the screen, open the book, file, and uh, send you the Zoom link. And then I teach. I will never, ever prepare any kinds of uh, teaching materials before, before I teach because I'm kind of lazy teacher, in fact. So uh, whenever I give you my ideas, those ideas are, are just random ideas. And I just think of those ideas, okay? At, at this time, I don't prepare anything. And here, here goes my situation. Yes. Get used to, used to do it, all right? Uh, I try so hard to get used to reading book schedule. I need to create a schedule for myself. Like, okay, this time you need to get up and read. This time you need to, you need to change from reading to writing on your iPad. This time you need to listen to lots of blogs and lots of uh, news online and lots of uh, lots of forums in English online. But the way that I try to get used to reading is not is not that simple. 
Because whenever I want to read, I feel like something, something, something pulls me back. Something prevents me from making it happen. So I try my best to get used to reading every day, and I find out that every day I encounter the same problems, the same difficulties, the same challenge, the same challenges. I challenge myself. I I put myself in a very hard condition. It's like I want to do this, but I don't want to do this either. Uh, lots of things is going on in my. Lots of things are going on in my mind. So I try to get used to okay dealing with myself. I I get used to dealing with myself by I I listening to myself more. If I want to go out, I go out because I need myself to experience to experience what is out there. What what is it outside that makes me feel so so attracted what is it outside that makes me not want to sit here and go so whenever i i, I try or okay, to do something and another thought in my mind comes up like don't 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 sit here just go downstairs and coffee then i go downstairs okay in the living room and drinking coffee alone so that is how i experience myself to fight or okay, get to fight whether i am suitable for whether the thought is suitable for me or not and um, I used to I used to be very bad okay to myself. I don't I don't treat myself good enough. It's, I didn't I didn't I didn't treat myself good enough. I I just cared about other people. I cared a lot about other people in the past. I cared and took and took good care of my family a lot in the past until now. And one day I find out that the way that I did so many things for so many people are not fair to me i need time for myself i need to understand me not try to understand other people so i just found out that the way that i used to care for other people needs to stop right right now because i need to experience okay every way to find out what i need and how i feel and what i want in this life Since I understand myself, since I understand my needs, I know what I want. I know what I like. I know what I need, and I know how much I I, I have to pay in order to in order to to suit, in order to satisfy my needs. When I know okay everything about myself, I seem to have. I seem to have experience. I seem to have lots of experience in this life. So. It is. Uh, there is a saying like this: "It's better. It is better to understand other people, but it's best to understand yourself." So when you understand yourself, okay, deeply and strongly, you will have experience in dealing with lots of things in your life. Like you understand yourself, and when you put yourself in this situation, you know how to deal with the problem. It is simple like that. But if you don't understand yourself, and when you are in that situation, when you are in the in in the problem situation, you will face problems in a different way. You don't care about your feelings, but you care about all the feel other people's feelings. In fact, you care about other people's feelings. And what will you get in return? You you get anxiety. You get worries. You get frustration. You get anger in return. Because you don't solve the problems for yourself, you solve the problems to make other people happy. So, in order to, in order to understand, okay, our our customers' needs. If we work in business, we need to understand ourselves first. So that is that is an art. That is that is a masterpiece. That is an art. It's like a big field, and okay, in trying to 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 get. The customers pay, willing pay for you, so you understand their needs. Is they and when you understand their needs, they are they are gonna risk everything to experience your products. When you understand your needs, you also risk everything. You will pay at all costs to experience your life. So when you experience everything in your life, when you experience a lot of failures, you experience a lot of disappointments, you experience a lot of sorrows. 
you will become very experienced. So don't ask people how to become experienced. They will answer you. They will give you only one answer. Be a loser. Be a loser. Okay. Fail a lot in your test. Today you have an IO test. You have 4.5, 3.5. So what is it going to happen? Nothing is going to happen, right? Your parents just say something to you, scream at you. Be, okay, be crazy about you. And that is it for today. Okay. And another day, keep going on the same day like this. So nothing is going to happen. You are not going to lose your life or anything. Just okay, put on a, put on a thick face and listen to them. Okay, mumbling okay about everything. So that is it. So the best way for us to become experienced is we only need to experience everything in our life in a natural way. We don't listen to other people much. We listen to ourselves much. All right. And when you experience lots of things in in your life, you will one day you will become successful because when you experience a lot of situations, when you experience a lot, uh, a lot in the way that you, in the way that you meet people, when you experience a lot of different, okay, different cases in which you have to face different types of people, you will have lots of experience in seeing people. You will know them. You will know them from the very first moment you meet them. You will know them from the very first time you hear them from your phone. So that is how you become successful. The only way for you to become successful, that is you need to have experience. Uh, if you want to see, if you want to succeed in your job, you want to succeed in your life, there are no other ways but gain experience we have to get experience so that we will become successful and when we are successful people are gonna look at us and they are gonna envy our success they envy our success because they know that they cannot be us so that is my situation for all these three words i'm gonna give you guys like uh two minutes for you to to look back and feel and after that, I'm going to call your name. The first person I want to call that is V, okay? Next, that is form, and the last one that is two. So please prepare for two minutes and 30 seconds. I have quite, I have quite a bit of experience. I have quite a quite of experience after experiencing many times from uh, from normal exam to I am exam, I can uh, I can know what I need to do right from the start before the test begin. Even though I was very scared, and uh, when the test uh, start and start and start, um, uh, my brain uh, will quickly t tune in tune in operating uh, separately from the feeling of fear during the test um spe specific specifically during the uh, speaking test and though i was quite uh, no i was very nervous uh, and uh, anxious before the seminar ask ask me ask ask me uh, when the uh, examiner asked me, ask me a few questions, uh, I quickly respond to them, even though I might have said the wrong answer at, at the time. But my brain wouldn't let me stop thinking about uh, answering, even if I couldn't think of anything with my uh, blank mind until the, the end of the test. And I used to feel uh, afraid and anxious, uh, frustrated when I saw a satisfactory uh, result. Uh, but but now I can com comfortably face face it, and no matter how many times I fail, uh, and I will accept it and keep trying harder to uh, let myself be more successful. Keep trying harder in letting myself be more success. More, you use more with an adjective, right? Be more successful. Success is a noun. You can only use a noun to become a topic of your speaking. 
But successful is an adjective. You use an adjective with be, be or with become, all right? I want to be successful. I want to become successful. I want to be successful, for example. Um, do you please pay attention to uh, the requirement that we need you to give a situation based on all the words, not only a few words, right? And you say that you feel anxiety. Please work on your pronunciation. Your pronunciation is getting worse because you are lazy. Don't say that I need to fix the pronunciation. That, that is just like a kindergarten children studying English for the very first time. We are studying, okay, in an advanced level. So somehow you need to work on yourself before we work on you, right? We feel anxious. We don't say we feel anxiety. We have the word like this, anxious, okay? Anxious is an ADJ and anxiety is a noun in English. I feel anxious. Anxiety is gonna kill me, for example. Anxiety is a noun, anxious is an ADJ. That, 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 is, that is how you use. Feel, after feel, we use an, an ADJ. You feel sad, not you feel sorrow. You feel disappointed, not you feel disappointment. So please be careful of your word choice. All right, the next person that I want to hear, that is Ngoc Thu, okay, show me your situation. And V, please work in your situation again. I need you to make a video after the class. Thu, show me your situation, please. Um, my situation is, um, for example, if I do business, I think, I think um, the first thing I need to do is learn. Um, I need to have experience to do business. Before I, before I open a store, I will experience, um. Uh, doing a certain job to be successful. I have to I have to choose to try and go along on on the on the path. I think I will uh, I think I deal with many ch challenges when I leave my parents. Um I uh oh I see that right and I need challenge to come to come to me so uh I can experience and learn more experiences for me. Um it will be it, it will be it will be uh difficult uh but I will uh, but I will try to um, complete it. Um, my economic uh, need need um um quite high, and I and I need to try. I need to try harder because I I don't want to use um, use my parents' money um. Until I grow up, mm. uh, that's my idea. All right, uh, the here guys, I know that you have tried a lot in speaking. You have made progress, but not enough progress. You have to, you have to take good notes of your of your ideas so that you will remember every piece of idea that you are gonna that you are gonna say to me and uh, your ideas must go with the words that we have studied because the because the way that you talk the way that you present the situation that you have okay nothing has okay nothing has enough words in in not nothing has enough enough words in it so you need to make sure that your situation is long and your situation covers all these words. That is the fact. For V, okay, V has spoken about okay her exam and how her and how she feels. But in your speaking, I can only find that you have practiced the word get used to, the word used to, and the word successful or success, and that is it. 
uh, okay, those words are not enough. I need you to, to give me more based on all the words listed in the sticky note. And for two, you need to show more example. You need to show more ideas. You need to work on the way that you speak. Be confident because I cannot help you to be better. Only you yourself can help you, all right? And the last person I need to listen to that is B. Okay, show me your situation. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Please remember the Tom. Uh, okay, so I don't know, do other schools uh, do teach students the soft skills that my old school, uh, which is Lawrence Dane School, teach me? Well, first of all, uh, when I study in LSDS, well, I have a highly experienced because, well, like whenever we go to school and we go back home, there's there won't be any homework. There's only deadlines and projects and also a lot of, uh, like a lot of things come up to us every day and we, di we didn't even have time to chill out or relax. So uh, we have to get used to all of the stressful work before we go, we, before we graduate and uh, get out to find a job. So because uh, the school have trained us a lot and well, we do learn a lot from the school. So uh, we do um, use whenever we have, we or more specifically, which is me, I have to do any task that the company or the boss give me. Well, I, I already get used to it when I was in high school. So I deal with it very like easily. So, uh, so because of this, so I can concern that my success is built and um, is built because of the experience that I got, that I get, I got I get from the high school, and because of this, uh, I really, no, because of this, um, I would wish that in the future I could be succeed. No, I could succeed. No, I succeed in the future. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I will become a successful businesswoman like I have mentioned before. And also, well, basically to talk more about this, I have a passion with uh, uh, psychology. So yeah, I would love to learn more about that so that I can understand the customer needs and how I, I am going to balance the... Um, the company needs and the customer needs so that I am not going to get into a uh, cringe and uh, hard hard work. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, all right. Uh, here, uh, the point here is when we speak, uh, when, 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 when we speak, it is very hard for us to, uh, to link to tenses together, especially the present tense and the past tense. Yeah, it's, yeah, it is like it's like it's called it's called language language anxiety. So when you feel anxious, you don't know what to do. You 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 feel when you feel anxious, it means you feel confused and scared and worried. Three feelings are together okay in one is called anxiety so it, it's just like in english like this when you put two tenses all together it's going to be it's going to be it's, 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 it's going to be anxious so we call language anxiety in this case here okay if you want to be able to make use to to, to be able to make use of the two tenses all together in one situation we need to practice a lot and uh, that is also a lesson that uh, that is also a practice, not a lesson, sorry, a practice that we need to uh, to carry out, okay, in the class today and from tomorrow on, because we need to learn grammar by speaking. So right now here, okay, we need to practice the situations to mix the two set to the two tenses all together, present tense, 
and past tense. And here I and here we have studied from two to what? From 215 to 351. Uh, so then let's say we have studied like one hour and 30 minutes already. And uh, here, okay, we have another class at 4 p.m. But I don't think I can run classes at 4 p.m. because we we just skip, okay, lots of breaks and we have continuously studied like this. So then the other class is gonna be at 5 p.m., guys. 5 p.m. and to 6 p.m. and that is it, only one hour. And in the next class, we need to study, okay, the reading skill. The reading skill, uh, and here I'm gonna I'm gonna send you the the page of the reason of the reading skill first, and you, you just need to look at the page. Uh, read first. This is the first uh, lesson. Maybe we will study by the reading skill, or maybe we will study the task one of writing. So after this class, we have like one hour for a little break, and uh, in this one hour, our admin is gonna send you what we are going to study later, maybe the reading skill or maybe the task one writing. Because after we practice a lot of words like this in real life situations, if I continue to teach the reading skill, it's going to be it's going to be a lot or too much for you to consume. Look at the reading skill, lots of new words, right? And I think the best way for, for you to study the reading skill is by me making the video first. So you need to listen to me, okay? Um, giving explanations and lecturing everything in English first. And somehow I'm gonna use Vietnamese in my video video too. So for the reading skills, I think we are gonna study by video recording. And after you listen to me, okay, on my uh, from my video, and you understand everything, you're gonna be able to find the answers for this part. And after you get my video, we have another day to study the to study to study the reading skill again by practicing each vocab and each structure in the paragraph. And also find out why do we choose this, why do we choose that. So for the reading skills, I am going to teach by video recording. I'm going to record myself teaching and I'm going to send you. And in this video, I'm going to try to use Vietnamese because I am used to using English. All right. So the next class is going to be 5 p.m. today. And in this 5 p.m., we are going to study task one writing. Let's study task one writing. Describe the diagram. Okay. Thank you so much for this class. Have a nice break and see you again at 5 p.m.